students this is razikha welcome back to the physics classes this is the 10th session of the ray optics and optical instruments chapter previous class we had discussed about the natural phenomena which is caused due to the dispersion so in these natural phenomena we had discussed about the formation of rainbow and the blue color of the sky during the noon and the red color of the sky during sunset and sunrise we had also discussed about the optical instruments in the last video and in that we had discussed about the simple microscope nothing but the magnifying lens nothing but the convex lens so we had discussed about magnification produced by convex lens at near point as well as the far point in today's video we will be discussing about the magnification produced by compound microscope as well as telescope so this image represents a compound microscope and this these are the parts of the compound microscope you might have used this compound microscopes in biology lab to observe specimen then uh, to observe minute objects to study some leaves plants or uh, flowers okay so you will have here one adjustment knob this is called the adjustment knob where you rotate this knob fine to focus the object we can rotate this knob and this is the stage this whole thing is a stage where an object is placed so this ant is nothing but the object which is placed over this stand and this part is called as the tube okay and here we will have two lenses one lens here and another lens here one lens which is here which is nearer to the objective is called as objective lens and the lens which is here which should be nearer to the observer that is which is nearer to the eye of an observer will be called as eye piece okay so both these lenses are convex lenses why is this microscope called as compound microscope compound in the sense mixture of two or more so here as you can see there is there are two convex lenses so it, this uh, microscope is a combination of two convex lenses that is why it is called as the compound microscope so here in this ray diagram we will study how exactly the image formation takes place in the compound microscope as you can see here there is an ant which is kept here on the stage which is nearer to the objective lens as we know both the lenses will have their own values of focal lens the objective lens focal lens should be small eye piece lens focal length should be large comparatively okay so already we know one thing that is lenses na combine maadi ittaga or when lenses are kept together one lens in the produce ago image which is here this image will act as virtual object for another lens next lens ige ee image iruttalla which is produced from the first or the previous lens adu virtual object thara behave madutte fine now uh, you may uh, you have done this focusing phenomena or you have done this focusing uh, work in the biology lab where we rotate this knob the knob which is available if you rotate you will get the clear image so what is this the function of this knob observe carefully now i am going to rotate the knob see observe what is happening 
lenses positions are varying okay with respect to the image the lens position and uh, lenses positions are varying okay now observe this see observe the position of this image and also observe the position of this ant with respect to the lenses once again i am going to rotate the knob now so i am going to rotate what hap what is happening here i am taking the image this image this side all right as we know if you take this image which is acting as virtual object right now if you take this in this region a magnified image will be formed once again let's do that look at here i am varying this position of the image okay oh uh, you can observe so what is happening here here you are getting one magnified image of the object first thing what happens this object will get focused by the objective lens and this objective lens en madutte ondu image na produce madutte and what adjustments we have to make e first lens in the bandiro image position na somewhere in this area you have to adjust so ee tara adjust madadaga e i p s in the innondo magnified lens uh, sorry magnified image produce agutte so e image with respect to the i i will be somewhere here i in the sense observer so with respect to the observer e image either near point atra adru form agabodu far point atra adru form agabodu that completely depends upon the adjustments which an observer makes fine so this magnification produced we can calculate with the help of a derivation two different equations for magnifications we will obtain e ant with respect to observer ant in the sense image of an ant final image of an ant far point atra produce adre one equation you will get near point atra form adre another equation you will get so under this microscope concept they can ask you one two three or five marks questions okay now let's discuss about the magnification produced by the compound microscope under this category there will be 2 3 and 5 marks questions so if they ask you the question for 2 or 3 marks they can uh, ask you to just draw the ray diagram representing the final image produced by the compound microscope or for 5 marks they can completely ask you to derive the magnification produced by the compound microscope as we discussed previously compound microscope is a combination of two convex lenses plays like this and this convex lens is called as objective lens since this will be closer to the object so this lens is called as objective lens and this lens is represented by e this lens is represented by o this lens is called as ip since it will be closer to the eye for eye of an observer okay here the optical center of this i'll represent as o because this is the optical center of objective lens and here i'll represent it as e since this is the optical center of ip see there is a difference between these two lenses which is the focal length objective lens focal length should be lesser compared to the ips focal length because objective lens has to focus the object which is placed very closer to this okay objective lens left side 
we are going to place object and i piece lens right side you can observe the final image that is through the i piece okay so the major difference is their focal lens now let's uh, place the object here somewhere here i am going to place the object the height of the object as you already know the height of the object is represented by the h letter all right the height of the object is represented by h so this is h and the name of the object is a b height is represented by h now a ray which is passing parallel to the principal axis strikes this lens here and always remember to specify the direction of light another ray which is passing through the optical center passes without any deviation like this okay specify the direction and this ray since it is parallel to the principal axis after refraction it passes through the focus of this lens okay so it is understood that this is the focal point of the objective lens so the distance from here to here i'll represent as f o actually since it's a biconvex lens it will have two focal lens so this point is the second focal point of this lens first focal point will be on this side okay See now object na he place madbe ko andre. E lens in the image right side form agbe ko. We should not place the object in such a way that E lens in the same side of the object image baro tarra. We should not place the object. Object should be placed in such a way. If we keep the object on left side, right side image barbe ko. As you can see here. the refracted rays are meeting so that is nothing but the image and this image is inverted see like this so the name of this will be a dash b dash since it is inverted and the length of this image is h dash or the height of this image is h dash see the this is the first focal point of the eye piece length if e represents the focal length of eye piece f4 represents the focal point of objective and there is a distance between these two things that i'll represent by l which represents the tube length of microscope this will be asked for one marks they will ask you define tube length of microscope so this tube length is defined as the distance between the second focal point of objective and first focal point of eye piece okay so this is nothing but the tube length now still we have not got the final image See next in line, agar the these rays again will get refracted in this direction. This is the refracted ray, and this will be also be get refracted. Okay, and the observer will be somewhere here. So this observer is observing the final image. so what we need to do the refracted rays have to be extended i am using red line red uh, colored line to represent the extended rays you can use dotted lines okay so these extended rays will meet somewhere here fine so that will give you the final image you can observe that is a very much magnified image which you you will get somewhere here and the name of this image you can write as b double dash a double dash 
and the height of it you can represent as h double dash the height you can take as h double dash okay complete from here to here represents the height of the final image produced fine now here there is one angle form that i'll represent as beta e angle e angle ge equal agirutte because they are called as vertically opposite angles fine see this point and this point are parallel points here okay the height of this will be same as the height of this so illu kuda you can write h no need of writing this line just uh, i am showing it for the sake of understanding so this is our ray diagram which represents the final image magnified image produced by microscope so tube length or a knob adjustment alli what we do is illinda produce agiro image na we adjust somewhere in this region so that the final image should be formed here fine so see here from the ips either the final image by adjustment we can make to fall on the near point or at far point already namage gottide lenses in the you, uh, we can make the final image to form on near point or far point now imagine if this is the near point image l form agide near point athra form agide andre this distance will be represented by d okay now e case alli what will be the magnification produced we have to calculate that all right very simple uh, steps are there to calculate the magnification produced by this first you have to write the consideration let's place one object of height h okay at some distance as a result idrinda produce aago image for the ips lens acts as virtual object you have to mention this idrinda produce aagta iro image e lens ge virtual object tara act madutte and the final image is formed at either near point or far point they can ask both the cases obtain the magnification produced by compound microscope at near point athra adru kelbodu or at the far point athra antanu kelbodu so this is the required ray diagram now let's derive the derivation that is magnification produced by the compound microscope see illi lenses combined iddaga we know the equivalent focal length is given by 1 by f is equal to that is uh, idrinda produce aago total focal length is given by 1 divided by f is equal to 1 by f1 plus 1 divided by f2 the power is given by p is equal to p1 plus p2 and the magnification combined magnification by these two lenses is given by m1 into m2 which means the total magnification will be obtained by multiplying individual magnification so the total magnification here will be written as mo into me mo anta helidra magnification produced by objective me means magnification produced by ip so our first aim is to calculate the value of m o from general equation of magnification produced by convex lens namage gottide magnification is nothing but h dash divided by h see here we have two right angle triangles here we have one here another one so idrinda tan beta na define maadkoli it will be equal to h divided by fo see fo this is the distance of the side adjacent side so opposite side is h adjacent adjacent side is fo since beta is very small the angles are very small agiradrinda you can just ignore this trigonometric function and write 
बीटा इज इक्वल टू हेच बाई एफ ओ फाइन Similarly, triangle use maadi, I'll just skip this uh, tan beta. I'll directly write as beta is equal to for this beta opposite side is h dash divided by e length is to the the length of this is l. So write it as l. Now equate these two equations. What will happen? Here two sides beta beta are other than that. You can write. H divided by F O is equal to H dash divided by L. Now equation na rearrange madi. H dash divided by H will be equal to L divided by F O. This is equation number one, which is general equation, equivalent magnification equation. Ni do. Illinda na migen bande the the magnification produced by objective lens gatta gida. Now the magnification produced by the eyepiece lens we have to write. Fine. इधर ना already we have derived in the previous videos. That is from this lens either the final image can be obtained at far point or at near point. Now we will write one by one. T imagine final image is produced at far point. Okay. Far point tetra image produce adre the magnification is given by d divided by f. Since this is the magnification produced by eyepiece, f figure you have to add the subscript e. Fine. So that is just the magnification produced by the eyepiece lens. Total magnification go back to equation number one. M is equal to m o into m e. So what is the value of M O? It is here, which is L by F O, L by F O into M E is D divided by F E. So this is the total magnification produced when the final image is produced at far point. Now imagine the final image is produced at near point. So once again we will take m is equal to m not into m e. M e in case of near point image formation is one plus d by f. Okay. इधर जो तो e ना add मार दो को since the lens focal length is f e. General equation one plus d by f. But since we have focal length f e, represent it as f. Now substitute it here. M is equal to M O is once again same, which is L divided by F O into one plus D divided by F E. This is the magnification produced in case when the final image is produced at the near point. Okay. Either they can ask you just one. Or both, fine. So what we have to do to derive magnification produced by convex uh, compound microscope is first ray diagram bari re, then use this equation. That is, uh, the when two lenses are used, the final magnification is given by the multiplication of individual lens magnification. That is M one M two. M one means M O here objective uh, ma magnification of objective lens and M two under magnification of eyepiece lens. So the next thing is finding out the values of M O and M E. M O generally is H dash by H magnification produced by a lens is the ratio of height of image to height of object. See here we have two right angle triangles. Adrinda tan beta na find out mad kodi equate both as equal to each other. Idna rearrange mad idra h dash by h value barite which is nothing but the value of l by f o. Next o is tad mela m e na bariyado. Directly we can write because we already know magnification produced by the lens. At far point and near point directly, अदरना तो गोली. The important point to keep in mind here is 
F plus alli F E anta you have to write. Far point iddaga M E is given by D by F E. Just multiply both. Near point alli iddaga M E is given by 1 plus D by F E. M O gottirutta M E place alli iddu nan substitute maadi. So this is about the magnification produced by the compound microscope. This telescope is defined as an optical instrument used to observe distant objects and we have many types of telescopes, uh, two types they have mentioned in your syllabus. One is the reflecting type of telescope where the mirrors will be used. Another one is refracting type of telescope where the lenses will be used. Now let's discuss about the refracting type of telescope that is magnification produced by the refracting type of telescope. So under this category 1, 2 or 3 marks questions can be asked. Either they can ask you what is telescope. So this telescope is an optical instrument used to observe distant objects. Or they can ask you what is tube length, other normal health in and they can also ask you to write the expression for magnification produced by telescope and the ray diagram which represents the final image produced by telescope. So in telescope also we will be using two convex lenses. One is known as the objective lens and another one is known as the eyepiece lens. Compound microscope and telescope are similar in con construction but the difference is compound microscope only objective lens to focal length come here whereas in the telescope objective lens focal length should be more and the eyepiece lens focal length should be smaller. Why the objective lens focal length should be more on the Since we are focusing the objects which are thousands of kilometers away from us, the objective lens focal length should be more. So this O represents the optical center of objective lens. E represents the optical center of eyepiece lens. So, from distance object, rays of light falls on the lens like this. So, this is the rays of light which is passing through, ray of light which is passing through the optical center and it goes undeviated. Next ray incidenting at the convex lens like this, it undergoes refraction and it bends like this. Fine. So, this is the refracted ray. As you can see already, the first image bandhid, that is called as the virtual object for the second lens. So, this is the first image produced by the objective lens and the name of that is A dash B dash, the height of it is given by H dash. Okay. Next, the Idrinda produce agro image e lens virtual object tara act madat. So these rays will undergo refraction and reach the eye like this. This ray will also undergo refraction and the observer will be somewhere here. Okay. Once again either the image can be formed at far point or near point. So, E side, left side final image barutte, through these rays, E refracted rays na naven maadubayko, extend maadubayko. So, I am using the red color to represent the refracted extended rays. So, somewhere here, this side, when these two rays meet, final image produce agutte. Alright? See, this and this are called as alpha that is the angle subtended by object and here I will represent this angle as beta that is angle subtended by image as we know 
angular magnification is given by beta by alpha which means angle subtended by image to the angle subtended by object here i'll write the final expression for magnification that is equal to beta by alpha is equal to f o divided by f e f o means focal length of objective lens f e means focal length of uh, eye piece fine so somewhere here the focal length of objective lens will be there this is f o and somewhere here f e will be there here the definition of tube length is this one the distance between the objective lens and eyepiece lens is called as tube length of telescope there are two different definitions for tube length microscope ge different uh, uh, definition ide telescope ge bere definition ide you should know both the definitions they can ask you either of the one definition so the tube length of telescope is defined as just the difference between distance between objective lens and eyepiece lens and the total magnification produced by this type of telescope is given by m is equal to uh, beta by alpha is equal to fo by fe beta represent the angle subtended by image alpha represent angle subtended by object fo focal length of objective lens and fe focal length of uh, eyepiece lens and this l can be written as fo plus fe the next type of telescope is cassegrain telescope it is designed by a scientist whose name was cassegrain so that is why it was named after his name this cassegrain telescope is an example of reflecting type of telescope where mirrors are used as you can see this diagram represents cassegrain telescope and here three marks question can be asked either they can ask you to write a note on the cassegrain telescope or they can ask you to explain cassegrain telescope so this cassegrain telescope consists of two mirrors one is primary mirror which is basically a concave mirror and another one is a secondary mirror which is convex mirror in nature okay so here as you can see the coating is on the outer surface and here the coating is on the inner surface so this cassegrain telescope consists of mirrors and one lens one concave mirror is there and convex mirror finally convex lens is used as an eye piece so distant object in the image uh, sorry the rays will enter this cassegrain telescope and get reflected due to the concave mirror and the incident on secondary mirror once again what happens reflection takes place and finally all the rays meet at a point producing an image and this image can be observed through the eye piece here the whole setup is enclosed in a chamber because uh, uh, to avoid the blurred images because ikade indano light enter aadre here the blur image will be formed the image will not be that much clear that is why the whole setup is enclosed in a chamber so this represent an animation showing the cassegrain telescope this boy is holding the cassegrain telescope and inside this cassegrain telescope the setup is like this this is the setup where this is the primary or objective mirror and this is the secondary mirror okay 
and here is the distant object this is the distant object which the boy is observing say this is the eyepiece through which you can get the final image so the image formation takes place like this here see as the rays of light are incident from this distant object and it undergoes reflection here once again from this mirror it undergoes second reflection and finally through the eye piece the object which is here can be observed so not the uh, yes the distant object is here now you can observe this object in this way next we will discuss about the limitation of refracting type of telescope it will be asked for two marks see since we use refracting uh, lenses in refracting type of telescope the objective lens should have maximum high focal length to focus the object which is very far suppose we want to focus moon it is thousands of kilometers away from us so adanna focus madakke the focal length of objective tumba jaasti irbeku that is why the it is very difficult to manufacture and handle the lenses with large focal length this is one of the limitation and another limitation is jaasti focal length iro lenses will produce chromatic aberration which means uh, the image will have some lines or bands of colors that is nothing but chromatic aberration so e chromatic aberration produce agadrinda final image will be either colored or blurred so you will not get a clear image because of these limitations we prefer reflecting type of telescopes the advantages of reflecting type of telescopes include chromatic aberrations fine so here there will be no chromatic aberrations like in case of uh, the uh, refracting type of telescope adralli chromatic aberrations varutte here you will have no chromatic aberrations idanna 2 to 3 marks ga keltare mention the advantages of reflecting type of telescope over refracting type of telescope anta so here chromatic aberrations iralla because lenses use maartta illa navu and mirrors and lenses na compare maadidre lenses will be heavier compared to the mirrors mirrors ge weight kammi irutte and mirrors one side coated iradrinda it is easy to fix them somewhere but whereas lenses erdu sides use agadrinda only uh, lens na balance madakke rim we have to use the rim of the lens so that is also one of the difficult thing to do another advantage of reflecting type of telescope is final image will be very clear and bright because two times reflection takes place here in reflecting type of telescopes so next thing is the differences between compound microscope and telescope which will be asked for 2 to 3 marks first difference you need to write the definition compound microscope na minute objects magnify madak use martivi where as telescope na distant objects observe madakke use martivi and here the objective lens to focal length should be small and eyepiece lens focal length should be large telescope alli reverse objective lens should have large focal lens where as the eyepiece should have small focal length and the definitions of tube length in compound microscope and telescope is different tube length of microscope is defined as the distance between second focal point of objective and first focal point of eyepiece whereas the tube length in case of telescope is defined as the distance between the objective lens and eyepiece lens one more difference you can write that is 
the magnification equations you can write so in this video we have discussed about the compound microscope that is the magnification produced by the compound microscope then telescopes types of telescopes then limitations of refracting type of telescope along with the advantages of the reflecting type of telescope so this was all for today with this we already reached the end of this chapter that is ray optics and optical instruments so in case you get any doubts you can whatsapp me you can send uh, messages to my whatsapp number or you can call me also so from the next video we will start solving the numericals till then keep studying thank you for watching